What is going on YouTube? So I told um, in my last video that I wanted to do a little review on this RO uh, DI Buddy once I kind of got it set up. It's not in its final location. I plan to eventually put it outside if possible, but for right now, we don't have the, really the screws or anything to put it outside. So I'm just, it's not even, you know, permanent. I just kind of sit it here when I want to use it, but I wanted to talk about it because it's actually a really cool little system. I have this little TDS meter right here. So I'm going to show you guys this in a second. And it's actually pretty, um, something I learned was the last time I made my water, I checked it and it was at like 47 TDS. And this time what I've done, and um, it was my mistake on my part, you need to flush it for a couple minutes before you run it. Because any sediment that could be left over can kind of get clogged up in the filter. And if you don't flush that, like today I just flushed it for like maybe three, four minutes and then ch checked it to make sure it was coming out zero TDS. Um, that's really all you gotta do. If you don't flush it, you're gonna be hurting yourself. So just to prove to you guys, here we go. One, zero. So that that little one could be just a little leftover, um, you know, bad water that was left a couple drops, but there you go, reading zero TDS. Now let's take it over to the tap water. And there you go, about 290 on the tap. So this thing really is pulling out, you know, crazy amount of TDS from the water and it's doing a really good job. And um, it, it flows pretty good. I mean, here's the wastewater just kind of dumping down the drain. I mean, it's got a pretty steady flow to it. Say maybe at this rate, we're looking at like 45 minutes to an hour before we have about five gallons. Um, so I'm pretty much going to try to keep about 15 gallons on me uh, at all times. Like right now I have to be at work early in the morning, but why I'm doing some college homework, I'm just going to let this thing run while I'm doing that. And then uh, when I'm done with that, I can just come down here, collect my water and then at least have five gallons ready. So when I do my water change this weekend, and then I have about three gallons right now of top off water that I've been using out of my other bucket. So I'm really happy with this little system. It was definitely worth the investment. Um, this system is the 100 gallons per day, I believe. And I only paid about $70. So if you're looking for something cheaper, you have a nano system, you don't need a ton of water per day, then this is definitely a good option for you guys. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Thing though with it, um, it only comes with these three cartridges right here. So you're gonna wanna buy the um, deionization filter and that's about an extra 20 bucks. But if you do not buy this, you're not gonna get RODI water. You're just gonna get RO water and you're gonna come out maybe like 20, 30 TDS. I mean, that would, that's still good, but salt water, ideally you want zero, right? So um, we're gonna, you're gonna definitely wanna buy that. I even tested my local fish stores water because I've been having a lot of algae issues in my tank and their water's coming out like 47, 50 TDS. So they may need to change their filters, but nonetheless, now I know exactly what's going into my tank. I checked my tank and my tank's at like 200 TDS. Um, and that could be, like I said, from using that saltwater shores water and never having one of these little TDS meters. So now that I have that, I can just make it at home. I know exactly what's going into my tank and hopefully with the algae under control. And um, you know, it's just be better for the tank. So thanks for checking it out, guys. Uh, it's just a little RO buddy off Amazon. It's like 60, 70 bucks. So have a good day, guys.